Hey everybody, it's Mira. How are you? I'm back to share a little project that I've been working on. This is a little tea bag art that I've been working with using my um, mini gorgeous stamps as well as my large gorgeous stamps. Um, and as some of you know, I am really in love with um, little girls and little girl stamps, and gorgeous just seems to have taken my heart. And because they're mini, I, I love everything mini. <laughs> and um, for my last um, video share about the tiles, I've been thinking of other things to use them on. And um, tea bags just seem to be um, the right thing to do. I love tea. I have lots of tea. Um, tea coming out of my ears. <laughs> I'm a big tea drinker. And um, I started collecting all my bags and um, drawing them out. And um, thinking I could use them as a project because they're just something that I have laying around. And one day it kind of just hit me, um, you know, why not stamp gorgeous girls on them? And I thought, yeah, why not? So um, I, uh, I, I did just that. I stamped some gorgeous girls on them. And then I kind of went one step further and I colored them in. And I have a whole range of little gorgeous girls that I have been um, making art with. And I've been experimenting with different um, mediums that I have. Um, I have had a lot of fun and a lot of experiments. Like for example, just here, um, where I've added a little bit of the water from the watercolor and there was some tea leaves still stuck in there. It creates a lovely um, like uh, effect right there. Um, you can see it again here. Um, just in the corners there. Um, I've, uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying myself recently. Um, and the good thing is that um, each tea bag leaves its own set of marks um, and uh, it creates a unique little artwork. So um, I've just really enjoyed making um, different ones and that one. You already seen this girl, so that's her the girl in a book, and that one here. So, um, so the so these lot so this lot is using tea bags that have already been used, um, and then what I also started doing was doing. Um, using tea bags that have not been used, so I um, let out the leaves from in there, and I've just used them as you know the you know paper, the paper of the of the tea bags, and I did really simple this time, just stamp the girl, and then a qu a quick ink or a light ink, and then a chosen word, um, and here this is just inking once again. Um, this one is using, um, oopsies, this one's just using oil pastels in the side there. Um, I was just experimenting with what, what you can use. Basically, you can use almost anything you have. There is one thing you can't use, though, and I'll just look for it in a minute. So that's a hope. This is my favorite, I don't know why. <laughs> There's something to be said about seeing your name put on, on things, so. And, this one I love. This 
So this is, um, I wanted to show you this one as um, an example of what can't be used. So this is alcohol inks. Alcohol inks do not go. Um, they just bleed out. They bleed your al archival ink. It um, doesn't hold its shape, it, the shape of, um, it doesn't hold the shape within the stamped image very well. So I would suggest not to use alcohol ink. But other than alcohol ink, I would I have used acrylic paints, I have used um, um, oil pastels, I've used watercolor, um, and of course my ink pads, and they've just created um, such gorgeous um, um, mini artwork um, as a start to um, another bigger project that you can work on. Um, Another thing that I'm doing is I'm actually placing them onto the ridiculous amount of uh, Project Life cards that I have that um, it, it has become clear to me that I'm not a Project Life person, uh, but I do love the Project Life cards for other reasons. So um, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm kind of using up my Project Life cards for other art um, exp um, projects. And here again, and this is just the beginning because um, as you swap them or insert them into your art projects, you can um, personalize them and add messages and people's names and dates and whatnot um, onto you know, little tags here. So, um, good starting point. I also just wanted to show you what the gorgeous girls looked like using acrylic um, paint. Um, and so what I did here was I did a complementary scheme um, from the colors on the color wheel and um, just p used acrylic paint and um, that's what the back looks like. So just make sure that you've put something underneath there because um, obviously tea bag paper is very porous but um, it takes, really, it takes acrylic uh, paint really well. Um, and the orange and blue scheme. Blue on the middle. Red and green. I like the green in the middle. I think the red in the middle is really strong. And so further to my exploration of um, of the gorgeous girls on tea bags, I also decided to pull out my Dina Wakely All the Gals um, stamp set, which is this one over here. Um, so it's a Dina Wakely stamp and stencil um, two-in-one um, thing that I bought off um, off eBay. Um, and so um, I decided to stamp those out. And um, for anything that's not water-based, I used um, the classic um, the Stampin' Up! Rich Razzleberry. Um, and so water-based means that if you add water to it, um, it'll run everywhere. So if you use ink on these, then that's not going to be a problem. If you use watercolor um, around there, then I use the archival ink, which is waterproof. So that I use there, and that one, I use that one. Um, and so I stamped out all the girls, and they look really cute. Um, one, two, three, there's six of them. Four, five, six, and then are we all in frame? And then um, I, um, I yeah, I kind of looked at each girl and looked at her personality, and um, kind of did a little bit of I'm go off screen here. Got a little, did a little bit of playing. There, this one is this girl. Um, this one is this girl. This one is this girl. And this one is this girl. Um, how I've gone screen. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? It looks really so wonderful. And uh, I just kept kind of playing. I um, um, I played with my color. I've been doing a lot of color um, play recently, and I did complementary colors, which look good together. Um, and so I, um, again, 
used the words from the side here and um, um, she looked a bit fierce to me so I thought yeah fierce and I, I'd do the uh, initial stamp and then I'd do shadow stamping all around it and I used the red to green complementary there um, with this girl I kind of I don't know what I did with her for colors I was just playing so she was brave so I guess I was being brave with all the different colors <laughs> um, blue and orange are complementary on the color wheel um, so I thought that was nice and I gave her the character of being vivid um, this girl I've always been um, I've always liked this girl so I gave her a character of being strong um, yellow and purple seems to be my favorite combination color at the moment um, spirited and um, orange and blue and purple for this girl here um, so they turned out really nice. I really like how they turned out. 